Researcher Chan saw it. My name is Kari. Today I'm visiting my older sister and her husband at their new house. Whoa! You felt a kick! Yeah. This is my older sister, Yuzuria. He's saying, thanks for coming, Auntie Kari. Hey, stop calling me Auntie, Yuzuria. Why? It's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> She's right. By the way, Kuroki, what are the dark circles around your eyes? Huh? Well, we only have one week left until the due date. I have mixed emotions of nervousness, hope, and excitement. And I can't get any sleep recently. Oh. Yeah, he's such a mess already. He'll probably pass out when our son is actually born. <laughs> no, I won't! I'm going to see it through and hold my son in my arms. I promise. <laughs> Good luck, Daddy. <sighs> From the outside, they seem like happy newlyweds. However... Huh? It's my boss. I gotta get this. I'll be right back. Okay, honey. <sighs> hey, sis. What? Isn't that exhausting? What is? Well, you know. Speak up! You're so annoying! Uh, that attitude! My sister acts all soft and gentle to everyone around her, but... Oh, really? I didn't know that. Wow. Actually, she's very harsh and uses a lot of foul language. Huh? Go to hell, you piece of shit. When I heard that she was getting married, I figured that her husband was okay with that side of her, but... Congratulations! Wow, I guess she found her niche. I didn't expect her to be living her entire life behind that facade. Kari, can you get me a cup of coffee? Sure. Where are the coffee beans? Huh? Why don't you try looking for them first? Stop asking me about everything and just move your ass! Alright. I don't see how this is going to work out if she keeps pretending to be something she's not. And the baby is going to be born soon. I hope she doesn't just explode one day. As I was thinking to myself... Zuria? <gasps> I'm going into labor! What? What's the number for the hospital? And the notepad in my bag. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> Are you okay, Yuzuri? Are you freaking kidding me? It hurts like hell, you! What's going on in here? Oh, Kuroki. <sighs> Honey, I think I'm about to give birth to our child. What? Let's get you to the hospital immediately! She's a pro. Why did you switch gears so fast? Karin, I'm going to drive her to the hospital. Do you want to come? Uh, sure. Flavor paints don't necessarily mean that the delivery is starting right away. So, I left Kuroki with my sister. Then I called my parents and killed some time. She's gone into labor. Oh, really? Well, if she's able to maintain her facade even at a time like that, she might actually pull this off. No respect, but still pretty astounding, I thought to myself. I wonder if she's really going to labor now. Um, I'm Yuzuria's sister. Oh, she started her delivery. What? Her cervix opened up faster than we thought. She's been in the delivery room for two hours already. What? Um, where can I find the delivery? Calm down, miss. Yuzuria! Deep breaths! Breathe in, breathe- Shut the hell up! Don't tell me to calm down, bitch! Hey, are you okay, Yuzuria? Shut up, asshole! Of course I'm not okay! I'm freaking sick of you telling me that everything is okay! Shut the hell up already! Get the hell out of here, you piece of shit! Shit! Get out of here! Uh, uh, I could tell that something was happening inside. Without having to look. I guess even my sister didn't have it in her to maintain her facade in the face of the overwhelming pain of labor. What a bad time to slip! Uh, yeah, Kuroki! My sister. She's just losing herself from the pain. Uh... Kuroki must have been shocked by the sudden change. He was at a loss for words. 
Awkward. I can't believe she would say such a thing. She called me a piece of shit. Maybe she doesn't actually love me? We only got married because she got pregnant. Maybe she was just bottling it up inside and putting up with me. Kuroki, you're wrong. When my sister called me to tell me she was pregnant, this is what she told me. <laughs> you know what? When I told him that I was pregnant, he didn't say anything at first. I was so worried that maybe he wasn't happy because he wouldn't say anything, but... Uh, are you serious? Do you have the baby? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That's what he said to me, Kari. I'm the happiest woman alive right now. So you see, I promise you, my sister loves you very much, Kuroki. She may have a bad mouth, but that I'm sure of. Thank you, Karin. I'm gonna go back and support her. I think I'm calm now. I panicked earlier, but... I did a lot of reading to prepare for this. Yes, please support her. The baby has already been born, sir. <sighs> Good job, miss. The next day. Hey, sis. Don't worry about what happened in there, okay? Kuroki is a nice guy. He wasn't worried about it. He actually thought that it was his own fault for being underprepared. But I do think you guys should talk about it. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? What? I'm talking about what you were saying during... Whatever. I don't remember any of that. I was in so much pain. Can you not bring up something that I don't even remember? I'm still hurting all over and I'm exhausted. Leave me alone, alright? Jeez, what an inconsiderate sister. How are you doing, Yuzuriha? Oh, hi honey. I'm doing just fine. How was work? I got off early today. If you need anything, or if there's anything you need to talk about, I'm here for you, okay? Oh, how nice of you. Peekaboo! It's your daddy! <laughs> I'm so over this. I'm to myself. <sighs> My name is Kuroki. This is a story about an incident that happened about 10 years ago. Alright, this looks like a good spot. Nice. There are a lot this year, too. I was out gathering various wild vegetables in the mountains when... I sensed something behind me. There's something behind me. A boar? Or maybe a bear? No sudden movements. Dad, I found some Aurelia sprouts. Nice! Did you find some big ones? Oh. Oh, thank God. It's just some people. They must be here gathering vegetables too. Phew! By the way, this mountain belongs to my family. But people don't usually know that mountains can be privately owned property. And it's not like we have a sign or anything. So we usually look the other way when we run into people gathering vegetables on our property, but... Oh! This looks good to eat. Ah! Whoa! I couldn't let it slide today. What the? You scared me, asshole! Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to yell. Uh, sorry. Can you not snap the Aralia branches? They won't grow back if you do. When you gather them, you should- Huh? It's not like they belong to you. <gasps> well, actually, they do. This entire mountain belongs to my family. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? Mountains don't belong to anyone! Um, so... Damn. This is going to take some time to explain. This is my family's land. Huh? Prove it, you brat! Or do you want to bring it on? I'm just here enjoying some time with my son! Stop trying to ruin our day, you asshole! You want me to kick your ass? Whoa! No, no, no! Ah! Uh, just please, don't snap the branches. Shut up! Get out of here! Jeez, 
That guy is out of his mind. Right back at you. No, wait. If I let this slide, he'll just come back next year. Then he's going to snap even more Aralias, and soon they'll stop growing. Aralia Sprout Tempura is my grandpa's favorite. Huh, isn't that kind of a lot? No, I can't let that happen. So I decided to keep an eye on them. Dad, there's some over there too. All right, let's get them all. Oh no, he's snapping all the branches. Oh, come on, man. I recorded them snapping Aralia Sprouts for a while and left the mountain. And I found their car, so I took a picture of their license plate. There we go. Then I went back to my parents' house and reported the encounter to my grandfather. Grandpa? Oh, that's not good. What should we do? Should we call the police? Hmm. Calm down, everyone. Nothing to fuss about. Kuroki, show me the way. Uh, okay. Good work, son. We got so much. Let's have Mom make us dinner with this. Yeah! Hold on. Huh? Oh, you again. You're back. I'm sorry to bother you two, but this land belongs to us. And we just ask that you don't snap the Aralias and leave everything you gathered behind. Huh? Don't lie. Do you have any proof that you- Yes, I have all of the paperwork at home. You're welcome to come if you don't believe me. Dad, I think they're telling the truth. Ugh. Well, even if that's true, it has nothing to do with me. I didn't break any branches. Don't lie. I have it all recorded. Huh? What the hell? I didn't give you permission to record me! Delete that now! Ah, uh, calm down. Shut up, old man! Stay out of- Huh? We all make mistakes. This is where you apologize and learn from them. Shut up! If this is your mountain, you should have put up a fence or something! Don't be so stingy about some vegetables! Who cares about a few branches anyways? Plus, I didn't do it on purpose. Just turn up blood. Whoa! You... I've been trying to keep this civil. But with your attitude... You think that's any way to act in front of your son?! Huh? Do you?! <gasps> We're sorry! What's this? You make your son apologize for you? Huh? G Grandpa? You should be embarrassed of yourself, you asshole! Uh, alright, I understand. I'll compensate you for this, okay? You fool! Uh, your child is crying, and it's all because of your actions! Why don't you just be humble and apologize, huh? Uh, I... I'm sorry, sir. Get on your knees! Now! Yes, sir. I'm... I'm so sorry about everything, sir. Uh, I'll compensate for... Shut your mouth! How do you plan to fix those branches that you broke? Don't speak before you think! I'm sorry, sir. What's done is done. Just stop being so foolish from now on. Yes, sir. I'm really sorry, sir. Okay, then. I was reminded once again that my grandfather was a warrior who fought in the war. I've never seen that scary side of him before. The man and his son left the vegetables and hurried back home. Dinner is ready, you guys. We didn't want the vegetables to go to waste. So we brought home the ones that the father and son left behind and combined it with what I gathered to make tempura. Oh, that's quite a load. Yes, well, it's a long story. Hmm, these fresh mountain vegetables are so good. Shall I make some rice cakes with the vegetables tomorrow? I know you all love those. You like them more than anyone, right? <sighs> What's wrong, Grandpa? Are you feeling fine? Mm, I was just thinking. I shouldn't have made him get on his knees in front of his son. Oh. He regrets that. My grandfather is almost a hundred years old. 
but he still loves Aralia Sprout Tempura. My name is Yuzuria. I'm married to this man, Kuroki, and I just gave birth to our daughter, Karin. Aww, she's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life! <laughs> I know! Of course, I was very happy. But there was just one problem. Kuroki! Oh, she's here! Let Grandma hold her, please! This mother-in-law of mine. Okay, Karin. Say hi to Grandma! Hello! How are you? Come over! Here! Huh? What is it, Yasuria? Support her neck, please! Huh? I said, please support her neck! For a while after they're born, babies can't hold up their own necks. It's very dangerous to hold them without supporting it for them. Watch out, Mom! You could seriously hurt her like that! I'm sorry! It's been so long since I've had a baby, so I completely forgot! <laughs> you guys are overreacting. You just started being parents. Be a little more lighthearted. Oh, jeez. This isn't a good start. From then on, it was a long uphill battle between me and my thoughtless and inconsiderate mother-in-law. Karin, it's your grandma! Oh, she can sit now? Yes, she began sitting at around five months. I was thinking about starting to feed her baby food soon. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, I have the perfect thing. Huh? Here you go, a tuna and mayo rice ball. Huh? You want some, Kari? Hey, no, you can't feed her that. What do you mean? You can't give her rice balls yet. She could choke on it or get sick. Plus... Oh, okay, I see. Here. Huh? Huh? Wait, no. You're kidding, right? Blah. <gasps> Here you go. Like I said, we can't feed her that. What are you talking about? This is how we all ate back in the day. She has allergies. Plus, I read in a book that feeding mouth-to-mouth -mouth can cause cavities. What? Are you treating me like a germ now? No, that's not what I meant. Oh, no, no, no. I can't believe this. What a terrible wife. I always had a feeling that you were on my case, but I didn't know that you thought I was so filthy. I'm telling Kuroki about this. You better be prepared, you devil. <sighs> <sighs> oh, well. Hopefully she'll stay away for a while. My mother-in-law, Azumi, called my husband immediately after, but... As expected, she was yelled at instead. Times have changed, Mom! Are you trying to kill my daughter? <laughs> However... What? Even Kuroki! I bet that woman is brainwashing him! I'm sure of it! We just added fuel to her flame. After that... Coming! Yikes! Yes, Maria! It's me! Open up! Azumi would come over often just to bully me. Oh, look at this dust! You're so sloppy! Look at this underwear! You have no class! This is a mess! Redo it! My husband scolded her every time, but... I feel so sorry for you. That devil is controlling you, isn't she? She wouldn't even try to listen. I'm sorry, Yuzuriha. You don't have to let her in anymore. Yeah, I tried pretending like I wasn't home, but... She kept banging on the door for over 15 minutes, so I had to open up because I didn't want to bother the neighbors. Open up! Jeez, what's wrong with that woman? Does Karin have a cold again? Yeah, it's always this time of year. Maybe it's the air conditioner. It seemed like Karin got sick easily when the air conditioner was on. So, I kept it off, even on hot summer days. This is for Karin. This is for Karin. Oh, jeez. Can't you just leave me alone for a day? Coming! Ow! So hot! Cold tea, now! Alright, alright. Jeez, at least turn my air conditioning on. Here you are, Asa. Me? 
Huh? The air conditioner? Phew! Nice and cool! Azumi, I told you before that Karin gets sick when you turn on the air conditioning, didn't I? Huh? It's because you don't manage her health properly. You're just saying that on purpose to try to kill me, aren't you? This woman! Either way, please turn it off. Shut up! Oh, I made such a big mistake. If I only knew what a fool Kuroki was marrying, I never would have allowed it. <sighs> hey! What? What are you doing, you stupid... Get out of here. My daughter doesn't need a grandmother if you're going to cause her harm. You! You bossy little brat! <gasps> Damn, the glass! I've had enough of you! Leave Karin and get out of here! <gasps> Karin! Nah. No, don't come over here! <gasps> I know. That hurt, didn't it? You're okay now. All right, there we go. I... I didn't do anything wrong. It was your fault. You are being rude. Apologize to me now. <gasps> I'm sorry, Karin. You wait here for a second. <gasps> you <Yes>, sorry? <gasps> first. I'm so sorry, little girl. Luckily, the cuts were shallow, and my daughter wasn't seriously injured. I told my husband everything when he got home, and... What the? She's thrown things at me before in the heat of the moment, but throwing something so dangerous at my wife and hurting my daughter? That's it! I'm done with her! Hello? Kuroki? Dad, let me talk to Mom! She needs to apologize to Yuzuriha, right? What happened, son? Huh? Your mother has been mumbling about how she's going to be killed ever since she got home. What did Yuzuriha do to her? Mmm. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> I just glared at her. Mmm. Roger that. Karin got hurt, and she just glared at Mom in the heat of the moment. That's all. Is that true, Azami? If you say anything unnecessary, I'll kill you. <laughs> yes, that's all. My mother-in-law was so scared of me that she couldn't argue with what I said. We successfully cut ties with my in-laws after that. You wanna play? <laughs> I'm so glad that my daughter is finally out of harm's way. <laughs> but we still live near each other. So I run into her from time to time on my way to the store. But when I do... Ah! I'm, I'm sorry! <laughs> I just stare her down. Bring it on. <laughs> I'm home! My name is Katsura. Recently, my daughter has been rebellious. And she is... so mean to me. Mom, I told you not to wash my clothes with that guy. That guy? It makes my clothes smell. Don't be like that. It's so much trouble doing the laundry so many times. I smell? That's how she is. Well, daughters can be like that. My daughter is in the ninth grade, but she gets upset whenever I'm around. My daughter even gets mad when I use the bathroom after her. I can't even freely go to the bathroom in my own house. Ew! Stop using the bathroom after me! That's gross! I feel like I'm going bald from all the stress. That's... harsh. Have you heard the saying that a child has repaid their parents by the time that they're three years old? You still love her, don't you? Yeah, I adore her. There's no question about that. And I'm sure she'll come around sooner or later. Akane, my daughter. She takes on after her mother and loves to draw. When she was little, she used to draw me pictures all the time that said, I love you, daddy. 
I heard from my wife that she wants to work in the art industry when she grows up. All I want for her is to get good at something she loves to do, and be happy. So I decided to just stick to my role as the breadwinner. I'm home! My wife is a graphic designer and comes home late at night. These TV dinners are getting old. Akane is in her room? Where do you want to go this Sunday? I want to check out that new place. What about you, Tachibana? <laughs> I see. A boyfriend. She's growing up so fast. Today in the studio, we have the actress Karin, who just got married last year. So, tell us about how your marriage is working out for you. Well, we have such different lifestyles, but I'm happy every day. Akane, I miss you. Life went on like that for a year, and my daughter was now in 11th grade. I'm home! Huh? Akane? How unusual for her to be in the living room. Hi. Uh, hi. Dad, I'm sorry. Huh? <laughs> Akane? Dad, I'm so sorry for being a horrible daughter. Thank you for raising me and letting me do whatever I want. I don't hate you, Dad. I'm sorry. Akane, are you okay? I'm really, really grateful, but I've been so mean to you. Please, don't hate me! Don't be ridiculous! I've never hated you, and I never will. So please, if there's anything on your mind, tell me. Mom. Mom? I saw her holding another man's arm walking into a motel. <gasps> I see. Is that all? <gasps> well, I was about to go into that motel with my boyfriend, too. <gasps> I'm sorry, Dad for being such a bad daughter. And mom is cheating. <sighs> no, it isn't your fault, Akane. I'm the one to blame. I didn't make enough time to communicate with your mother because we had such different schedules. <laughs> it's not your fault, Akane. This is all my fault. So please, don't blame yourself. After having a discussion with my wife, we decided to divorce. We both agreed that this marriage was never meant to work. I started living together with Akane, and she became very nice. Hi, Dad. I made dinner. Oh, no. I forgot to bring in the laundry. <sighs> I hope she isn't trying too hard to get along with me. And ever since I divorced my wife, Akane stopped drawing. Akane, why aren't you drawing recently? Have you given up on a career in art? <sighs> I always drew because I wanted to be like Mom. But mom's not here anymore, so I'm over it. I plan to get married after high school anyways. <gasps> married? Wow, Akane is getting married. And so, Akane got married to her boyfriend after graduating high school. They chose to live with me so I wouldn't be lonely. Wow, I never thought that I would be a grandpa. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> when your mother was pregnant with you, she would always say, I spent my entire life doing only what I loved. So I want this child to live the way she wants to. So your child... <gasps> I'm sorry. And my granddaughter Tsutsuji was born. Mommy, this one. But even after Tsutsuji was old enough to talk and walk around... Akane, I can tell that there's something holding you back. Akane, why don't you go see your mother? Mom? Yeah. I'm sure she'd be delighted to see her granddaughter as well. I mean, when we were getting divorced, we didn't give you the chance to tell us what you wanted. I'm sure there's a lot bottled up inside you too, right? Yeah. One week later, I'm sorry for not being there for you. But I'm sure some things will be easier to discuss without me, right? Akane? Mom, I'm so surprised. I wasn't expecting you'd be such a wonderful mother by now. I'm glad you seem well too, Mom. Hey, Sasuji, it's your grandma. <gasps> Akane, I'm sorry. I heard from your father that you were crying because you thought that it was your fault that I was cheating on him. I've always wanted to apologize to you. It was my fault for ruining our family. Mom, you may be right. 
I'm not here to say that you didn't do anything wrong, but I don't want anyone to be the bad guy anymore. Even if we aren't one big family, you'll always be my mom. Akane! So, can I come see you again? With dad too next time? <laughs> of course. Thank you. Dad. Oh, Akane. Hello, dear. <laughs> Akane. It seems like she's had some weight lifted off her shoulders. Daddy, draw me something. Ah, uh, I'm no good at drawing. There we go. Me and you, Tsutsuji. What is that, Daddy? A bug? Here, let me see that. What? I didn't know you were so good, Akane. You've never drawn anything before. Sounds like you guys are having fun. What are you guys doing? I was remembering that I have a dream. <gasps> Sasuji, Mommy wants to be an illustrator. Yeah, you should try. I bet you can. Illustrator? Someone who draws. <gasps> Draw too! <laughs> sure, honey. After that, Akane uploaded her art online, sent her illustrations to publishers, and gradually started a career as an illustrator. I can tell that she's living her life on her own terms now. I'm a lucky father to be able to watch my daughter do so well. Good job, Akane! Mommy, here you go! I brought you coffee! Thanks, Dad! Thanks, Suzuji! I'm Yuzuria. This is a story about a guy named Hideki. I started dating him when I was 22 and we went out for four years. I met him at a matchmaking party. He was fun to talk to, and he was good with women. yuzuriya san let's go for a drive next weekend. Ah, sure. Nice. He's only two years older than me, but he's so mature. We started dating soon after the party. We started living together right away. The first two years were a lot of fun, but... About a year later... Ah, we've been dating for three years now. We should probably start thinking about marriage. Yuzuriha, will you marry me? Oh, I can't wait! Huh? What the... Hair? What's this? It's not mine, and it's not Hideki's. No, Hideki! Hey! You know anything about this hair? Huh? Hair? It's not mine, and it's not yours. So, whose is it? Huh? I have no idea. It's probably from someone on the train or something, I don't know. Are you sure? You better not be lying. Wait, are you accusing me? <sighs> you don't trust me? I'm disappointed in you, Yuzu. He's right. It's just hair. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, Yuzu, you get jealous so easily. It's cute. Uh, after that incident, sometimes his clothes would smell like perfume. The smell. He's still not home. And sometimes he would come home really late. I was getting pretty suspicious, but... You don't trust me? I'm disappointed in you, Yuzu. When he said that to me that day, it really stuck with me. This went on for about a year, then. One day, my friend told me something. Yuzuria, I'm sorry, but... As a friend, I gotta tell you something. What is it? I saw him. Hideki, he's cheating on you. I didn't know what to do, but... Seeing you like this, I had to tell you. According to my friend Karin, she saw Hideki and some redhead walking into a motel together. This was about a month ago, so I'm not sure about what he's up to now, but... I knew it. He was cheating on me. Sorry, I should have told you earlier. That asshole! Yuzu, I'm disappointed in you! Are you kidding me? That asshole! Arr, I'm gonna get him back for this! I decided to get revenge. I'm home! Ah, uh, what a day. Hey, honey. Oh, wow. Looks delicious. 
What's the occasion? I had the day off, so it looks good, right? Come on, let's eat. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, that was delicious. Rough day at work? There, there. Ah, oh, that's nice. What's up with you today? You seem different. Really? <laughs> hey, I've been thinking. I'm so in love with you. That's why I've been so jealous. But it's not right. You deserve better than that. And even if you did cheat on me, I love you too much, I'd probably end up forgiving you. Oh. Oh, Yuzu, you're so cute today. <laughs> After that, things went back to the way they were. Yuzu Riha, listen to this. My boss yelled at me at work today. Oh, Hideki, it's okay. I know you're very skilled. That boss of yours, he's probably just jealous of you. That's why he set you up. Yeah, that must be it. Oh, Yuzu, you're the only one that understands me. I love you. I love you more. Six months later, Hideki, I need to talk to you. This guy at work, he proposed to me. What? You said no, right? Yeah, but... We've been going out for years now, but you still haven't asked me to marry you, so... No, Yuzuriha! You're mine! I need you! We can get married right away! No problem! Really? Yes, absolutely! Oh, I'm so happy! I've been waiting so long to hear that. I'm so sorry, baby. I love you. <laughs> After he proposed to me, we hosted a little get-together with both of our parents. Oh, what a joyous occasion! Likewise, it's so nice to meet you all. The get-together went well. Now the fun begins. Huh? You're going on a business trip for two weeks? You sure? That guy that proposed to you, he's not coming, is he? Of course not. Don't worry. Oh, Hideki, I'm gonna miss you. Behave yourself while I'm gone, okay? Of course. A few days later, see ya. Travel safe. Ah, the thing is, it's all a lie. The colleague proposing to me this business trip. Then, two weeks later... Yuzu, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I messed up. It was the heat of the moment. Oh, really? Heat of the moment? Strange. You had her over almost every day. Uh, well, um... Just as I predicted, he was messing around with that redhead while I was gone. To get solid proof, I set up several cameras and mics around the house. While on my business trip, I checked up on him around the clock. I've got more than enough proof, thanks! Now, why don't I show this to everyone? No! I got everyone together, both our parents, the mistress, and a lawyer. You little! Yuzuriha, I can explain! She wouldn't stop, it's her fault! What? How dare you? Shut up, you pervert! I'm terribly sorry, it's all his fault, we're so sorry! Your daughter deserves better! No, no! Yuzu, I need you! Please forgive me, please! Get off of me! You're a terrible person, Hideki. Needless to say, the marriage was called off. Hideki still wasn't over me, but he had no choice. I sued them both for damages. By the way, Hideki and that redhead met each other at work. Everyone at work heard about their affair. She had no choice but to quit. Hideki somehow managed to keep his job, but he got transferred to a dead-end position. Ah, that felt good. When I found out about Hideki's affair, I stood by him. Not because I loved him, but... Rough day at work? Even if you cheat on me, I love you too much. Yuzuriha, you're the only one that understands me. I wanted to become a girl he couldn't live without. I wanted to make it as painful as possible when I dumped him. Plus, once we're married, I can sue him for damages. <laughs> oh, wow. For a 
little while, he kept texting me, asking me to take him back out. Please, please forgive me. Yuzu, please. I love you. Gross, no thanks. After that, I blocked him and got a new phone. I'm gonna enjoy being single for a while. But then... Karin introduced me to one of her friends. We started dating soon afterwards and got married. Nice to meet you. I told him about everything, all the stuff I did to my ex. But he accepted me for who I was. Man, acting in front of Hideki made me sick to my stomach. I even lost some hair, but it was definitely worth it. A good friend and a loving husband who accepts me for who I am. What more could I ask for? Life is good. I'm Tachibana. I'm in 11th grade. Oh? Ah, the restaurant that closed down. They're finally taking it apart. That takes me back. I used to love the steak there. So good! Last time I went there was when I was in kindergarten, though. Wait, that reminds me. For some reason, Mom got really angry the last time we came here. And we never went back. Hey, Mom! What is it, dear? Remember that restaurant by the big road? When I was little, we went there and you got really mad. What was that all about anyways? <sighs> that restaurant. I remember. The thing is, my friend's family used to run that place. Really? Yeah, I took you there a couple of times. My friend Yuri. She lost her mother when she was young, but... Don't worry about the restaurant, Dad. I'll do everything I can to keep the business going. She helped her dad almost every day. She was a good girl. I went there often, ever since I was a student. Then one day... Karin, this is Hiroki-san. Nice to meet you. Yuri always talks about you. Yuri married this guy named Hideki. Hideki-san and his parents, they're all chefs, so he'll be helping us out too from now on. Oh, that's wonderful. But... Katsura-san? What's this? We have to step it up. But this is what our regulars like. Come on, Katsura-san. That's exactly why we aren't getting any new customers. If you want to run a successful business, you have to innovate. And we gotta cut costs. Always. Okay? After Hideki came to the picture, the restaurant changed. The regulars stopped coming. Things weren't looking good. They even had to borrow money to keep the business afloat. Dad, I'll talk to Hideki. No, don't worry about the restaurant. I trust him. We'll get through this. But... Uh. Dad? Yuri's father collapsed in the end. He was exhausted. Uh. Then... Katsura-san? Will you let me run the restaurant? Needless to say, I'll take on the debt, too. You don't need to worry about a thing. Yuri and I will figure something out. And if for some reason the business goes under, Yuri might end up with the debt. After much thought, Yuri's father handed over the restaurant to Hideki. What's wrong with that? He took on the debt, too, right? Sounds like a good deal to me. At first, yeah, but... That guy... He didn't care about Yuri at all. What? You're changing the entire menu? And you changed all the suppliers too! Why didn't you tell me? Ugh, shut up! This place is mine now. I run things now. Just shut up and listen. What? Give it back then! I can't let you run this place! What? You think you can turn the place around by yourself? Give me a break. You have a problem with the way I do things? Fine! Let's get a divorce then! <laughs> they ended up getting a divorce. Yuri lost the restaurant to Hideki. I see. That's awful. So I'm guessing the restaurant went out of business afterwards. Yup. Wait, that time you got really mad. Was that before Yuri-san got a divorce or after? After. After? So you knew about Hiragi-san, right? Why did we go there then? What, you don't remember? You're the one that wanted to go. Huh? After they split up, Hideki started serving steak at the restaurant. Then one day, you and I walked past the place. I want steak! What? No, we have food at home! I want steak! I want steak! You just wouldn't listen. Ugh, fine, let's just get this over with. Steak! Steak! Yay! Welcome! 
I want this Etra Wagyu plate! Oh, uh, two of these then. Coming right off. Here you are, two Etra Wagyu platters. Yay! Let's eat! All right. Huh? Whoa! This is so good! I love steak! Right, Mom? Tachibana, you really think so? Huh? Yeah, it's good! Weird, I don't think this is Etra Wagyu. Yeah, and it's so stringy. You're right. Um, excuse me. Yes? Could you get the manager? Oh, Karin-san. How are you? Long time no see. Hi. What's up? Oh, I see you're enjoying the Etra Wagyu. Pretty good, right? Hideki-san, is this really Etra Wagyu? <laughs> of course it is! The Etra Wagyu Yuri's father cooked for us tasted a lot better. This steak is so hard. <sighs> Give it a rest, okay? It's the real thing. End of discussion. Still don't believe me? Fine. Nobody's forcing you to eat here. If you're saying this just to get back at me for what happened to your friend, we can go to court if you like. <sighs> it's fine. Forget it. We'll be leaving now. Come on, Tachibana. What? I'm not finished yet! Please do. You're disturbing the other customers. And if you're gonna complain, please don't come back. Uh, fine! You'll never see me again! I feel bad for this restaurant! I wish Yuri kept it! You ruined this place! Shame on you! I see. There's more, though. The meat they were serving, I was pretty sure it wasn't Etra Wagyu, so I thought about reporting them. But first, I decided to talk to Yuri to see what she wanted to do. And so, I'm thinking about reporting this. But it used to be your family's place, so I wasn't sure. What do you think? <sighs> do it. Report it, Karin. It's for the best. Got it. So I did. Turns out I was right. It wasn't Etra Wagyu. It wasn't even Wagyu. They were serving old imported beef. Hideki ended up getting arrested. Whoa! Soon after, the restaurant went out of business. I see. I feel bad for Yuri-san, though. First she loses her restaurant to that jerk Hiragi, then the business goes under anyways. Yeah, but things worked out for them. Huh? You know that really famous restaurant near the station? That's Yuri's new place, and her father is feeling much better these days. She runs the place with her father and her new husband. Wait! That place that's always packed? I didn't know that. Good for them, though. They've been through a lot, but they seem really happy now. Let's go eat there soon. They said the best Etro Wagyu in town. You finished the semester this week, right? Yeah, let's go! Steak! Huh? But wait, how did you know it wasn't the real Etro Wagyu? You noticed right away? Yeah, it wasn't hard to notice. Everyone there knew too. Not me, though, right? True. Wait, so... I have no sense of taste? Uh, I guess not. No way! Yep. She went on to say, no matter what I cook, you always say it's delicious, so I'm grateful. She was probably trying to make Tachibana feel better. I'm Yuri. My husband Akamatsu and I have been separated for a year now. It all started with a guy my husband met at a bar. His name was Hideki. I never met him myself, but according to my husband, he was in his 50s. He was a wealthy man from a wealthy family. After his divorce, he got remarried to his new wife who was in her 20s. And he was a bossy husband. Akamatsu-san? A little advice for you. You have to take control of your wife. You gotta let them know who's in charge, you know? After talking to him, my husband changed. I see. What's the matter, Akamatsu? What? You can't tell? Chopsticks! What? You want me to eat with my hands? What? Get them yourself! Why are you so mad? Don't tell me what to do, woman! He started talking down to me like this. Huh? Then... I'll be managing the money from now on. All women do is spend, spend, spend. What? What are you talking about?
about? Shut up. I know. You have no idea what you're talking about. And what about you? You go out almost every week with your friends. So what, Yuri? I go there to study. Hiragi-san teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hiragi-san? That was the first time I heard about Hiragi. He told me I should buy this stock. Let's do it. No, stop. You know nothing about stocks. Stop. Those conspiracy theories. And don't even get me started on the Freemasons. Huh? Stop talking about that stuff in front of our daughter. My husband couldn't get enough of Hiragi-san. He's not well. I was pretty exhausted. I started distancing myself from my husband. Then... Then... When we get a divorce, I'll be taking Tsutsuji. What? What are you talking about? Divorce? Hiragi-san told me. If your wife is acting strange, she might be cheating on you. Cheating? If you are, I'm leaving you. Acting strange? It's your fault! Blaming others. Classic. No! You're the one who... Calm down, Yuri. Just kidding. I'm joking. If I left you, you'd have to sell your body to make ends meet. But if you are cheating on me, come clean now and apologize. I'll forgive you just this once. There was no getting through to him. And he was saying all this in front of our daughter. Daddy? Mommy? He was so unbelievable. I couldn't take it anymore. I decided to leave him. But even after that... It's your fault! I know you're having an affair! He was pretty stubborn. Then, about a year later... Akamatsu? Last time I talked to him was on New Year's. I completely forgot about him. I didn't even want to hear his voice, so... Text me if you need something. I sent him a text. Okay. Huh? That was easy. After a while, he sent me a long message. The first sentence was... I'm sorry, Yuri. Here's what he had to say. Long time no see, Akamatsu. Hey, <laughs> yeah, with COVID and all that, I haven't been out in a while. But I heard you're closing shop, so I had to stop by. Ah, thanks. Yeah. Looks like you're pretty busy, though. Yeah, most of them came because they heard I was closing shop. It's really nice of them. <laughs> I see. Me too. Me too. Hey, is Hiragi-san around? I'm just gonna say hi to him before I leave. Ah, he's not here today. I see. Hey, Akamatsu? Yeah? Sorry to sound like a broken record, but Hiragi-san is, you know, drinking with him is fine, but just be careful, okay? Huh? What are you talking about? Huh? You're kidding, right? I told you a million times! According to the owner, Hiragi-san wasn't who he said he was. He wasn't even married. He wasn't wealthy either. He didn't even have a job. He lived off of his mother's pension. He was an alcoholic who loved to gamble. Wow. The owner tried to explain this Hakamatsu many times, but... <laughs> <laughs> nice one! He didn't believe him. And he barely remembered anything when he drank. So when he heard about this for the first time all sober, his eyes were finally open. With COVID going around, he didn't see him as much compared to pre-COVID. So that probably helped, too. Either way, what he wanted was simple. I'm sorry about everything. Please come home. He wanted me to come home. Hmm, what should I do? Honestly, I don't want to be with him. But it might be better for Susuji to have a father around. Huh? I bet you're struggling to make ends meet. What? You need money, don't you? Huh? You're a woman. You can't make enough money to raise a child. Thank you, Akamatsu. Oh! Oh, Yuri! Thanks for helping me make up my mind. We'll be better off without you. Goodbye. Later. You opened my eyes, Yuri. I'm a changed man. Please believe me. He sent me a bunch of texts, bud. All right, then. Let's start the meeting. Huh? What's that sound, Yuri-san? Isn't that your phone? Don't you have to pick it up? 
Ah, no worries. Thanks. I'll turn it off. I'm never talking to him again until he signs those papers. <laughs> I'm Hiragi. In junior high, I was your typical nerd. I wasn't good looking either. Needless to say, I was at the bottom of the pyramid. But I did have a crush on this one girl. Her name was Yuzuriha. She was the most popular girl in class. When I was in seventh grade, Get out of here, nerd! Get out of my sight! Uh. You okay? Here, use this. Huh? You gotta stand up for yourself. You should talk to one of your teachers about it or something. Thank you. She's so nice. The girl's never been this nice to me. <gasps> it smells like a girl. That sweet smell of her handkerchief. That's when I fell in love with her. Look at Hideki. He's looking at you again. Gross. Hey! What the hell are you looking at? You're looking at Yuzuriha, aren't you? Just quit it! You're nothing, Hiragi! Tachibana, no! It's not what you think! Uh, why him? Why is Yuzuriha dating this asshole? That's when I made up my mind. I'm not gonna let anyone call me a nerd anymore. Even if I can't be with her, I'm gonna become a better man. Um, I'm thinking about switching to contacts. Welcome. Hmm, this looks good. Years later, I got into college. Hey, look at him. He's so handsome. I know, right? He's probably a model or something. Um, excuse me. Can I get your number? Thank you. But I'm saving myself for someone else. Sorry. That smile! I worked hard to become a better man. I worked on my social skills and studied hard. After college, I landed a job at a large firm. The ladies at the company were all over me. But I kept saying no to everyone. I didn't change myself to get with random girls. Yuzuriha san. I wonder what she's up to these days. And that handkerchief. I never had the opportunity to give it back to you. I'm sorry. Then, a few years later, when I was 26, I got invited to a class reunion. Wait, is that you, Hidegi? I didn't recognize you. What do you do? Are you married? I'm sorry, but I'm not interested. Yuzuriha san, where are you? Oh. Is that you, Hidegi? Yuzuriha san! She's so beautiful. The love of my life. Yuzuriha san, long time no see. Yes, it's me. Wow, I didn't recognize you at first. Oh, she smells so good. Hey, let's grab some food. Sure. I can't believe it. Yuzuriha san, the most popular girl in class, is talking to me. I'm so happy. All that work I put in. Hidegi, try this. She's so pretty. I love her, and she smells so good. What happened to you, anyways? You get a girlfriend or something? Uh, no. I don't have a girlfriend. What about you, Yuzuriha san? Are you still with Tachibana? I'm afraid to ask. Tachibana? Hmm. Ah, uh, I remember him. That was long ago. We split up after graduation. It was a typical junior high romance, you know? Wait, so are you? Single? Yeah, I haven't had a boyfriend in ages. Oh, thank God! I might have a chance after all. I heard Tachibana got a girl pregnant in high school. He got married but left her right away. It's terrible. That's awful. Ouch! Move aside! What the hell? You ran into me! Uh, Tachibana! You used to be such a nerd back in junior high. What the hell are you doing talking to Yuzuriha, huh? It's none of your business. You broke up with her. I'm not gonna back down. Not anymore. What did you say? I realize now. This is why I've been working hard all these years. Confidence. That's what makes a man stronger. Grow up. We're not in junior high anymore. Yuzuriha san can talk to whoever she wants. You're an adult, aren't you? But you haven't changed a bit. Grow up. You little! Yo! You guys hear that? Let's get him! Come on! What the hell? Come on, guys! Akamatsu, come on! You used to do everything I said! What? Dude, I mean, 
That was like 10 years ago. Uh, fine! I don't need your help! I'll do it myself! Stop, Tachibana! Go ahead, but remember, you'll be charged with assault and so many eyewitnesses. You get that, don't you? Uh, fine, I'll let you go. But give me back Yuzuriha! What? What are you... I'm not even going out with her! Shut up! I saw you two talking! Yuzuriha, come back to me! Be my girl again! Yuzuriha-san! You haven't changed a bit. I'm not your property! Get that through your head! How old are you? We're not in junior high anymore! We're all adults here! Get back with you? No way! Hey, Dagi. Back in junior high, I wasn't really into you. You let Tachibana walk all over you. I kind of felt bad for you, actually. <laughs> but you've changed. Not just your looks, but on the inside. You're... you're really handsome. Yuzuriha-san! <laughs> He's crying. He's crying. He's crying. The reunion got awkward after that. After the party, Yuzuriha-san, thank you for today. Huh? Uh, sure, I guess. What's the matter? Um, the thing is, I decided to come today because I wanted to see you. What? I've always had a crush on you, Yuzuriha-san. All these years, I worked hard to become the man you deserve. If it's okay with you, will you go out with me? I'd be happy to. <laughs> Hideki, are you crying? Finally! All my hard work over the years has paid off! We got along really well. After a few years, we got engaged and started living together. Hey, I need to give something back to you. Oh, it's that handkerchief from junior high. Sorry I never gave it back. I washed it. It might sound weird, but it smelled like you, and I didn't want to give it back. <laughs> it's okay. You can keep it if you want. No. I don't need the handkerchief anymore. I've got you right next to me. That's all I need. <laughs> By the way, I love your smell too, Hideki. 